four decades. If Theme Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Arizona will kick off to get things underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Line gets set, first down. <laughs> From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Gonna run it. It's white. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. I am impressed with the physicality we're seeing up front by this offensive line. Playing on the road, they knew they wanted to get the run game established, and they are doing just that. They're not just getting three, four yards a pop. They are gashing this defense. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. To the ground with the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It's a draw. Sweet feet on the move. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Mountaineers are flying down the field. The gift to the tailback. Still running at the 40. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop it. Defense holds their ground, pickup of a yard. It's at the 26. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Dropping back, it's Green. A little screen to the running back. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And I think if I'm a QB, I like the decision. I get it to my, my running back, who's really good after the catch, really good with the ball in his hands, but the defense did the job. They got him on the ground. They gave up some yards, but they forced the fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. 
He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So Arizona's offense will take the field for the first time. And these two electrifying runners can put on a show, guys. Well, we always talk about the importance of tackling on defense, never more so than it came like this. When you've got two studs in the backfield that can make people look silly, you better bring hats to the football. Yeah, and you think there'll be a lot of carries today? When you got running backs like this that you can feature, you're going to see them get the football a lot early and often. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first end. And here comes the offense on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. To the ground. He's got it again. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. He's got tripped right, a single receiver to the left on second and short. Wants to throw. It's Fafita. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. Oh, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Arizona right back to the line. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He'll take a shot. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. When you get in the red area, as a quarterback, you got to be dialed in. you got to be really sharp, really crisp. You have to play with great timing. The field is so shrunk. Everybody's got such a little area to cover. Fitting in it in tight windows is tough to do, and he failed on that play right there. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game. Here Here on second and short. Caught in the backfield, it's Taylor. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll try to get the first through the air. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense and the ball falls in. And the Mountaineers line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. 
hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Quickly out to the tight end. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not that much. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh-no. That is an oh-no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. Arizona runs out the punt team. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. The gift to the back. Keeps the legs moving. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. He'll pull it down. Quarterback gets the first down. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. The give to the back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Hand off from the gun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he fights his way, but they'll stop him just short of the line to gain its fourth down. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. They'll try the run. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47 yard line. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see 
run north south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays sometimes it's not about making big plays sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure i get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs incomplete and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back man this defense is dialed and already forced one interception had a chance right there to get another one everything this offense does so far they are reading it breaking on it and making some plays couldn't make the connection last time let's see if they throw it again a solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop Marker rest at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. He's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight it, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. Catch in the middle, it's Burnett. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. And the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking for the corner on the jet sweep. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Man, you just hold your breath every time this particular receiver gets the ball in his hands. Because of his speed, he's dangerous to score every single time he touches it. That time on the jet sweep, though, the defense did a better job playing team defense and getting him on the ground. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the running back has it. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wants to throw on third down. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with the field goal guys all locked up here in the first quarter. back and the returner will be brought down West Virginia has it back ready to dive into that playbook he wastes no time and comes out throwing snagged in the middle it's Davis after the pickup of nine it's second and one I don't think he was the primary receiver on that play, David, but a very productive pickup on first down. And these tight ends are so good at understanding zones and where to sit down. And, and listen, it's not the huge game down the field, but it's always death by a thousand cuts, small gains, break tackles, and continue to move the sticks. Flushed out of the pocket. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air. It's green. Finds a soft spot in the middle. 
They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? The Mountaineers want to pick up the tempo. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. After the shower of flags, it's first and 15 for this offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. And on second down for this offense. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. They'll go to the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting in the backfield, making the play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. It's really tough to convert in third and long situations like that. Not a lot of play calls, and they're going to be going up against the coverage with a lot of dudes on the back end expecting pass. So they're going to have to do a better job the next time out keeping these third downs manageable. And the Mountaineers will bring the punt team onto the field. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Grabbed in the middle. It's Patterson. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. They'll try the left side. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. He locked up and held on to bring him down. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. This is a third and long. Back to throw. It's Fafita trying to get to him. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long. Defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. 
They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. But, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. And I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seeing ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he won't quite get there but boy after that pickup just a few inches to go for the first an array of possibilities here these are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work why would you run the ball in second and long you stink oc or you get the big applause and you're like yes nice job keeping the manageable third down situation good call so tough spot to be in in second and long nice answer nice run by the running back the mountaineers get it past the sticks well, it's a nice run there to keep the drive going, get the first down. I'll tell you guys, I'm impressed so far by this offense and their ability to run it early. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. With the catch, it's Davis. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. Second down coming up. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that and start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Let's see if the defense comes after them. Third and short from the 45. He'll do it himself. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. And the Mountaineers will snap it on first and 10. From the gun, running back gets to give. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To the air, it's green. Complete to the left. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Patterson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he had just taken the touchback. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. 
They'll leave it with him. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Using his legs, it's Conley. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. Fires to the wideout. Complete in the middle. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Here's the handoff. And he's brought down after a nice game. First down physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance and, and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And that will be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. I'll tell you, this defense and their front seven, they're going to have to play with great eye discipline because they know they are going to see this type of misdirection in their run game, and they got gashed there. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and ten from the 21. Now they're going to throw it, getting some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. That incompletion leads to second down and ten. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Gets it out fast. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Look at the big fella doing work in the secondary, the big tight end, catching the ball, and he's just shooing these little DBs away. Get off me. The Wildcats trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. On second down, he'll let it fly. He's got it and still on his feet. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. They played keep away with the football, but if this defense can make one more stop on third and goal, they might force a field goal attempt. From the gun, wants to pass. He caught it, and he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. That's exactly what they told us they wanted to limit. Yards after the catch, and it pays off on this play. And especially in these situations in third down when you know the ball's going to come out fast, understanding that, breaking on the football, going, making the tackle, and forcing the fourth down. Trying to punch it in. 
will not get there. A fourth down stop. They're backed up. First and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. Running back searching for a hole. He's loose at the 15. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Well, that's a big run play, and it's not easy to do. Down at this area of the field, backed up in your own end. I mean, you're running into a box that's loaded full of bodies defensively, but the ball carrier was just able to sort of sneak and weave his way through there, giving his offense now a ton of room to work with. Might as well give it to him again. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Well, this guy really has been a bell cow for his offense in this game. They are force-feeding him the football, and he's delivered. Now, after that last run, he's right at 100 yards rushing. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. Looking for room. It's fight. At the 35, he's loose. And how much running room have they been able to find on the ground? Man, are they piling up some gaudy rushing stats. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle. But you could tell the speed sets them up, makes the big play out to the left. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking downfield, it's Green. Throws to the wideout. Oh, he can't hang on. And those arms might have favored an alligator there, and it'll be third down. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. He makes a catch. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Mountaineers come to the line in the hurry-up. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And the Mountaineers are threatening in the red zone. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Buys a little time. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Dropping back, it's Green. Moving out of the pocket. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And this is why offenses are so hard to stop. When you have such great playmakers at the quarterback spot, third down, if people are covered, what can he do? Take off, scramble, and now set this offense up with a first and goal. The Mountaineers trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Looking to throw. Floating away. Diving for the score. He loses the football. And the fumble.
fumble is going to go out of bounds, and the offense will maintain possession. Sometimes there's no substitute for old lady luck and having her on your side, and she just guided that ball out of bounds for the offense. Man, I think that head coach, he just narrowly avoided having a heart attack. You can never afford turnovers, but especially not down in the red zone like that. This offense has got to do a better job. Touchdown, West Virginia! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops, and they just keep making the plays, and they punch it in for a touchdown? Demoralizing. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. Second down after the offense recovered its own fumble. Takes the handoff. It's Conley. At the 15, he's loose. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. If I'm a defense, I want to play conservative in these situations. Obviously, it's such a long yarded situation. I don't want to give up that many yards. I got to get the guy on the ground. Really nice effort by the running back making him miss and, you know, getting all those positive yards. But I got to play conservatively in those situations. Oh, that slithered right through his fingers and would have been his second interception of the game. Instead, it's fourth down. Arizona runs out the punt team. Running it back, it's Fox. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. To the air on first down. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Man, you know, you always look back in games at single plays that turn the tide. With this defense now trailing by two possessions, if they could have just caught the ball and gotten that pick, that potentially changes everything in this game. That was a missed opportunity. Off play action. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Good, wide open, big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. You got to make that play. Those are one of those where I, I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was on me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He'll pull it down and run. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. And in the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. It is perfect. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half.
We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, thanks. Looks like we've had ourselves a very enjoyable first half so far. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Arizona Stadium. And the Mountaineers will kick it away to crank up the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on it. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Wildcats want to move quickly. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, how about that defense? On the snap, they are in the backfield with great penetration. Nowhere to go for the running back. That defense was sitting on G, waiting on O. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's got it. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Offense in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Fafita. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Arizona! Reeled it in and just made the house call. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt, first half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak, it looked like it was ugly, but now you're starting to get it turned around. With more drives like this is what's needed. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So it's an 80-yard drive. 
And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. Looking to scramble. This time they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And now on second down for this offense. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. He leaves it with his back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off the play fake. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Davis. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Give to the single back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Runs through the tackle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Wants to throw on first down. Got the quick pass. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys. Anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. The Mountaineers have taken it inside the 20. This time, they'll go to the running game. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, the power run here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Mountaineers! Well, the quarterback had the matchup he wanted. His big tight end with that wingspan working against that defender in the end zone. Man, that QB will take that matchup all day.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. An 84-yard drive there. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Patterson. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Not able to hook up the air incomplete. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Coming after him. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. West Virginia has it back ready to dive into that playbook. Fast motion from the offense. On the run, it's White. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Leaves it with the back. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. Now they'll run the draw. That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Mountaineers will line it up on first and 10. The give. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll put the tight end in motion. And his throw is incomplete. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Looking to pass. It's green. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. It's just so hard defensively to take your eye off this guy, especially on third down. You've got to know that at any given moment, he can take off on you. They've got to do a better job on the back end, keeping their focus on him. He's the one with the football, and they've got to be able to react, or else they're going to get gashed like they did right there. From the gun, the ground game. 
And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Gonna run it. It's Donaldson. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. All right, they've shown this formation a lot of times, and especially in the first half. Now what do they do? They show the formation, pull some guys and run a counter backside. Beautiful play design. Way to adjust in the second half. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. The play action fake. Looking to scramble. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. You know, the entire concept of the play action fake is to slow down the rush. It didn't work. No, they didn't bite on it, which was great defense. They didn't bite on it. They knew it wasn't a run. Played pass, continued to get to the quarterback and get the quarterback on the ground. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. And as a holder picks his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. The RPO, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. The inside handoff. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You gotta get those big boys up front into the game understanding i want to knock people off the football create some holes like you do here for my running back make the game easy they've got it at the 37 it's first and 10. back to pass it's fafita he's got his man excellent job working through the air they're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down they pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. The Wildcats with the first and 10. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Trying play action. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. 
That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Wildcats are in the hurry up. Using his legs, it's Conley. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all of that, this is four-down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this time. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Arizona. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to get back in this ball game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. They go to the ground. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Got it in the middle. It's Ray. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. From the gun, running back on the move. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line. Second and seven. Movement here from the tight end. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's green. Get it out on the screen. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. 
Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. They'll try to run for it. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The Mountaineers will call on their punt team. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Catch in the middle. It's McMillan. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. Arizona in a hurry. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Looking to throw, it's Fafita. He finds his man. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you confident to convert 30 to 30? Fires to the wideout. Got his man. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got his first and goal. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. On first and goal, let's see what Arizona does. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Arizona. That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they need. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's coming out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Can't hang on, is incomplete. I mean, he was bracing for the hit and didn't hang on to the football. Well, it's a good route by the wide receiver. He gets to the middle of the field. I think he just took his eyes off the football. This offense has a second down play. 
to throw. It's green. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. And the Mountaineers have it with a first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That's a big stop for the defense. That running back has had so much success. You're down in the football game. You need to get the ball back to your offense. You create a play like this. This will get the fires going, get the juices going. Now we've got to go get a few more. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Finds his target down the middle. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They move the tight end all over. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. come to the line facing third and long from the 25 looking to throw and he needs a bunch pocket starts to collapse throwing right he's got it major gaps in that defense and he got loose and they finally knock him down at the 41 yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football had time spins the ball deep Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Mountaineers racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great in the tackle for a loss on first down. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. Looking to throw. It's green. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Good timing on the quick out. Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. has to be frustrated the offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field now the play fake lets it fly deep downfield here's an interception oh did they need that turnover we talk about having to have it we needed to force the turnover we had to get the football back they're in such a good position to run out the clock try to win no sir our ball first down
Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Trying to take it back. And a super return as he takes it all the way down to the 24-yard line. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live in dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air, it's Green. Makes his connection. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example thereof. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. The comeback on target. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Power football with the run. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. He'll try the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Guys, still a six-point game, but a missed opportunity. Well, that field goal could have iced the game, but with the miss, you still got a close one. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the ground with the back. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. 
they got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Back to pass. It's Fafita. Looking to the big tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. This defense is heating up. They got an interception in the last possession. You can tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it. Going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. Back to work on second and ten from the 41 after that last incompletion. Grabbed over the middle. It's Burnett. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Arizona comes out with another first down. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Well, that's another completion. This quarterback's on fire. I get it. He's thrown for over 200 yards in this game, but it's because he's got people helping him out. How about that incredible job diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in? Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time they throw the football. And this group of receivers... And he'll Zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with the big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And he knocks it through to put him up by one, and now the D will try to hang on. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. He's taking a deep shot. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding, too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time, forcing the incompletion. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Dropping back, it's Green. Throws to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they, they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourselves a shot to win. Now adjusting. On the move at the 30. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, and he gets.
it's downfield for the big catch. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here. First and 10 from the 33. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The give to the tailback. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. Fires to the wideout. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Got to give this defense a lot of credit because even down to the last seconds of this football game, we're seeing outstanding effort. QB taking a shot down the middle of the field. There's a defender swatting it away. They have had this quarterback's number all game long, and that's why they're winning this game. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. He got it. And the sideline celebration is on as they've taken the lead in the final minute. That last field goal put them on top, and now this kickoff unit needs to cover well because it only takes three to beat you now. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. Caught over the middle. It's Burnett. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Everybody lined up, quickly snapped and spiked to stop the clock. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. To the air, it's Fafita. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Mountaineers. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'd love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. He wants a big play here late. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Well, that's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sideline, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this drive is off to a pretty good start. Looking to go up top on first down. Pressure coming. Chunked it away just as he was hit. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, this quarterback's already taken a couple shots from the pocket. There's another one right there that affected his accuracy on that throw. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. Scanning the field. It's Fafita. Unleashes one deep. And that pass is incomplete. They were going for the consolation touchdown, but to no avail. And that's going to do it for this one.